Hi, my name's Adam. What's your name? Hi, Adam. My name's Kate. So, where are you from, Kate? I'm from Toronto. How about you? I'm from San Diego, California. Hey, Adam. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Good, thanks. Who's that girl over there? Her? That's my friend Jackie. Would you like to meet her? Yes, please. Jackie, this is my friend Adam. Adam, this is Jackie. Nice to meet you, Jackie. Nice to meet you, too. Listen to people talk to Chuck Chang, Elizabeth Mandel, and Amy Kim. Do they address them formally, F, or informally, I? 1. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Chang. Please sit down. Two. Good morning. Hello, Chuck. Nice to see you. Three. Hello, Liz. Hi. How are you? Four. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Mandel. It's nice to meet you, Ms. Mandel. Five. Carol, this is Ms. Kim. Pleased to meet you, Ms. Kim. Nice to meet you, too. Six. Hi, how are you? Oh, hi, Amy. I'm fine. Do you like your apartment, Joe? Not really. It's very small. Really? Yeah. Just one bedroom and a living room. That isn't so small. How many people live with you? Seven. Seven? Wow! Do you like sports, Rod? Sure. I play a lot of sports. So what sports do you play? Well, everything. Baseball, volleyball, swimming. But my favorite sport is tennis. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I play every day after work. Do you like movies, Bob? Sure. What kind? Well, I like horror movies the best. I don't know why, but I really enjoy them. Hmm. Do you like westerns, too? Not really. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'd like to start with the salad, please. Okay. And what would you like for your main dish? Hmm. I'll have the spaghetti. Is it good? I've never tried it. Uh, anything to drink? Tea, please. And how about dessert? Not today. Thanks. What's your new apartment like, Celia? It's really big. I love it. How many rooms does it have? Lots. It's got two bedrooms, a living room, and a huge kitchen and bathroom. Sounds great. So when can I come and stay with you? Conversation. Prices. Listen and practice. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, 
Let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Hello. Hello. Can I speak to Anne, please? Sorry, she's not in right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. My name's Mary Brown. Mary Brown? Yes, and my number is 914-6520. Did you say 6520? That's right. Could you ask Anne to call me back tonight? Okay, I'll give her the message. Thanks. You're welcome. How is the speaker related to each person? Circle the correct answer. 1. John is our only boy. He has three sisters. 2. That's Darren. He's my mother's brother. 3. Her name's Sarah. She's my son Mario's daughter. 4. Lily's father and my father are brothers. 5. Rob is my sister Bonnie's son. People are talking about work. What job are they talking about? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. I'm a salesperson. I sell computers. I like my job. It's really interesting. And I meet lots of interesting people. 2. Yes, I like it a lot. I like acting in front of lots of people. One day, I hope to write a book about my work. 3. It's a good job for me because I like food and I love cooking. Lots of famous people come to our restaurant, too. 4. Nursing is a good job for me. I like helping people. You know, sick people. Conversation. Listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, that's interesting. My brother works in a hotel, too. Really? What does he do, exactly? He's a chef in the restaurant. What about your brother? He's a security guard, but he doesn't like it. That's too bad. Yeah, he's looking for a new job. Listen and practice. Oh, no. Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're still on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm. No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That's my wallet. Conversation. Describing work. Listen and practice. Where do you work, Andrea? I work for Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. That sounds interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast-food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Conversation. Daily schedules. Listen and practice. How do you spend your day, Helen? Well, on weekdays I get up around 10. Then I read the paper for an hour and have lunch at about noon.
Really? What time do you go to work? I start work at three. And when do you get home at night? I get home pretty late, around midnight. So, what do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. Don't you recognize me? I do the weather report on KNTV. Gee, I'm sorry. I don't watch TV. One. And here is today's weather forecast for the international traveler. Let's start with Beijing. It will be a cold day in Beijing today and windy. The low will be zero and the high will be six degrees. Two. Mexico City will be warm and wet with a low of 23 degrees centigrade and a high of 28. Three. Tokyo is expecting cloudy weather with heavy rain. The low will be 4 degrees and the high 12. 4. New York is going to have a windy day. It will be very cold with a low of minus 10 and a high of 0. 5. In Taipei, it will be cloudy, wet, and hot today. The low will be 20 degrees and the high will be 30. Melissa, would you like to see a movie on Saturday? That sounds great. What time? At 9.30? All right. Bobby, would you like to go out for dinner Thursday? Thursday? Oh, I'd love to, but I have to meet my sister for dinner. Oh, well, some other time then. Sure.